What's up beauties and welcome to another edition of my empties. So I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I have been holding on to this stuff because I really wanted to share it with all of you. So we're going to get into some of the stuff that I have that are empties and whether or not I will be repurchasing. So before we get started, make, I just wanted to make sure that I said welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Manders and this is my channel and before I ramble on like I always do, I'm going to get right into it. So. With that being said, I'm going to probably run through some of these items pretty quickly because I just don't think I need to talk about them for that long. So with that being said, I'm going to start off with some samples that I've used and some with, and by samples, I mean, I've used um, like, so like these. So I just want to talk about these things. I received some of them in the mail and I'll let you know. So this Vichy Vitalift Collagen, I used this twice and this was a very nice cream. I did get this in as, as a sample. I will definitely be looking into this because I do, I am in search of a new moisturizer and the two times I used this, I really, really liked it. So it's going to be something that I do look for either as like a trial size or a full size. So I'm definitely excited to try that. Next, I these are some items from Rodan and Fields that I have been that I did try and I really wanted to talk about them. So the first one was this active hydration serum. So I had this, I used it over three days and I really, really liked it. Now it's a very expensive product. If you haven't already heard of Rodan and Fields, I can link them all down below. They are um, a skincare product. I do believe made by the same creators as Proactive. Don't quote me on that. I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that I use this and I really liked it over the three days. So I will be looking into it. I am not a distributor I do know people who are so um, I will be talking to them about possibly getting that serum next from Rodan and Fields this is something I also tried this is the lip renewing ser serum I only had one and to be honest it did make my lips feel really nice but I didn't see um, necessarily a noticeable difference would I be interested in trying more of these yes anything good for my lips I do want to try I just don't think it was a good enough some like I only got to try it once, so it wasn't really a proper, I don't know, how do I want to say that? Proper representation of this product. So I do hope to try some more in the future. And the last thing from Rodan and Fields that I did try, this was their Microderm Abrasion Paste. Now, what in the actual flip is in this stuff? Because I like felt, I was like walking around the house after, and I was like, seriously guys, feel my face. Like I was making everybody touch my skin because it felt so smooth this stuff felt like it literally like took an entire layer of crap off of my face and I don't know about you but that's kind of what I'm going for when I do it when I do like a scrub like this so I was very excited I am definitely um I've actually already been talking to this person that I know who distributes because this is something that I want to put into my weekly regime so I probably will be purchasing this it is on the pricier point however there are perks there are things you can do um I won't be doing any of those things just so you guys know but if you're interested in any of this stuff let me know now I did receive these from Top Box, um, or no, actually I received these directly from L'Oreal, I believe. So these were just their, it was just sample size of their sulfate-free color care system. I really enjoyed this shampoo. It was nice. It was light. Um, it's supposed to, so it's made sulfate-free. And I do have color treated hair, so I had no issues. Now, this isn't a true representation of how these really hold up, but as far as sample size go, I was pretty excited about them. So now... I, um, I do have some other products. We're going to get past the samples now. Now, I have used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sheet masks in the last little while. I don't always hang on to the empties for these, but recently I have been. These milk ones that Hello Amy Cat sent to me are just freaking awesome. I love them. Um, I think I still have one more and I can't wait to use it. They're just really nourishing sheet masks. You can get them on Amazon. She sent them to me as a gift. This one I've looked up everywhere online. I cannot find it. It doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what it is about these masks, but I can't find them. But it worked fine. No issues. Um, this hydrating coconut sheet mask. I didn't use this one and I wanted to hold on to it just to talk about it. This mask, I am really excited. I want to try some of these, but I let my sister use it and it was like a gel mask. And I was like, I'm keeping that. I'm talking about it because I'm going to look into it and probably buy some. So those are by the pharmacy. 
Now, I love sheet masks, you guys know that, so we're just gonna toss these over here. I have a body wash that I finished. So this is the Olay Fresh Outlast, the purifying birch water and lavender. I think I got this in a kit around Christmas. I think it came with some Venus razors and then this and something else. Um, I love Olay body washes. I just don't lo love Olay products, so I will probably repurchase. However, I do have a lot of stuff in my collection at the moment, stuff I'm trying to use up. Um, being as minimalistic as I can and not buying 300 of something just so I can try all of the different ones is like my goal. So um, I only have one empty body wash for this, for this round of empties. Next, I do have a shampoo and this took me forever to get through. So this was my head and sh shoulders. This is the two-in-one dry scalp. My hair is pretty short so I can get away with a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner it's really not hard for me and when I do I really do want to go for head and shoulders my hair can be finicky my scalp can be finicky sometimes I just have a dry scalp and you need to just do what you gotta do and this is just that one product that always is my go-to when I do when I'm having like dry scalp problems I always reach for this so if you're interested in something like that check it out I also have makeup wipes. So this is an empty pack. These were the Luxe Beauty Care. I picked these up at the dollar store. They weren't bad. They were kind of dry. They were $4 Canadian though. Like not a big, like not awesome, but I just thought I'd toss them in there. Probably won't repurchase. There are other ones from the Dollarama that I love, which I will probably have in my next empties video because I do have a few packs on the go. But like these ones for dollar store ones, I was just for $4. I was like, no, I'm not really impressed. Um, a cleanser that I used up and I love this stuff so much. Um, I've been waiting to buy another one. This is my Garnier Skin Active Pure Cleansing Gel. It, elim it eliminates um, sebum, sebum and impurities. What the heck does that mean? I think that means like all the junk. So it's for oily skin with imperfections. So my skin can be oily for the most part. It can also be dry. It's pretty combo. But this is one of my all time favorite cleansers. Um, once I finish up what I have, I will probably repurchase this, but now is just not the right time. I also finished a cleansing balm from pharmacy. So I loved this stuff. It was made in Korea. I got this in an Ipsy. I really loved it. And I'm from, honestly, if I see this, I probably would repurchase a full size. I also finished up a body scrub. This is the Relax Bot Champagne Charcoal Scrub. This came in a Fab Fit Fun. Um, it took me forever to use this. So it just comes in a jar. I used it all. It was really nice. It smelled gorgeous. I really liked using it to exfoliate like my arms. Um, I you try and exfoliate as much as I can, but I'm really bad at it. Like I forget like everything else. So I'm really excited I did get to use this and I would buy this again if I could get the lid on it right now. Like seriously. I probably would buy this again but I've never like seen this brand or anything in stores so we'll just have to wait and see. And two more items. Pretty excited. One of them I have a makeup item in here and I'm super excited about it. But this before we get to the makeup item we're going to talk about a natural deodorant. So if you guys are not if you're new to my channel you know I don't use traditional store-bought deodorants because I can't, my body can't function for, like it, I don't know what it is, but I have polycystic cystic ovarian syndrome and sometimes I just have to use natural deodorant. And I try my absolute best because if I were to switch and go use like, like a lady speed stick or something, it would honestly put me back. So I love this brand. This is the Humble brand. It says stay simple and true. It's an all natural deodorant. It has no aluminum, alcohol, dyes, parabens, or artificial bacteri bactericides. Um, I didn't even know that was a word. This is the lavender one. I really like this. This retailed for $8.99 at Winners Canadian. That's a lot of money. Like I was like, whoa, it's pretty expensive. But I will say, out of all the natural deodorants I have been putting to the test, because there will be a video, I'm going to do like a whole like, which one worked the best, but I need to really get there because I need to try more of them. So far, this one is one of my top natural deodorants to use. Honestly, it works like uh, you might have to reapply throughout the day but I'm okay with that as long as I'm not putting heavy metals into my body any more than necessary um, this is kind of it's where it's at and last but not least we have a makeup item I finished a foundation I'm so proud of myself so this is my Maybelline foundation this is the matte plus poreless foundation um, in the shade 122 creamy beige my favorite this is like my go-to this is my universal shade this is the one I use throughout this like the year except for in the summer um, I love it it was well used it is completely empty and I am so excited that there was a makeup item 
in this empties. So let me know in the comments below, have you used any of these items? Are there any of them that you're kind of curious about? Is there anything you want to see me try on my channel? If there's something you really want to see me try, let me know. I will do my absolute best to review it for you um, within my means. So thank you so much. Now, make sure you guys are subscribed if you like this type of video. I love hanging out with you. I love sharing my knowledge and my empties and my makeup with you guys. So thank you so much for hanging out. Make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up because it really does help me out. I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. I love you. Mwah.